saprotrophic mode, of nutrition. Some organisms, such as, fungi, and bacteria, obtain their nutrition, from decaying organic matter. They are non-green plants, which lack chlorophyll, and hence, cannot make their food, by photosynthesis. The mode of nutrition, in which, organisms, obtain nutrition, in soluble form, from dead, and decaying organic matter, is called, saprotrophic nutrition. Plants, which use, this mode of nutrition, are called, saprotrophs. For example, mushrooms. The fluffy, umbrella-like patches, that grow, on rotting wood, during the rainy season, are called, mushrooms. Now let us perform, a small activity, to study, the saprotrophic mode of nutrition. Take, a slice of bread, and moisten it, with water. Leave it, in a moist, warm place, till fluffy patches, appear on them, as shown. Now observe these patches, under a microscope, or, magnifying glass. You will observe, cotton-like threads, spread, on the slice of bread. These organisms, are called, fungi. Thus, with this activity, you can conclude that, fungi grow, on moist bread. Apart from bread, fungi, also grow on pickles, leather goods, and other articles, that are left in, the hot, and humid weather, for a long time. Let us now discuss, how they acquire nutrition, though, they do not have, a mouth. They secrete, digestive juices, on the dead, and decaying matter, and, convert it, into a solution. Then, they absorb, the nutrients, from it. Now let us see, how fungi grow. The fungal spores, present in the air, land on wet, and warm things, where they germinate, and grow. During rainy season, they spoil, many articles, in our homes. For example, leather goods, wooden furniture, doors, etc. Sometimes, fungi, also cause, diseases, in animals, humans, and plants. Due to diseases, in plants, crops, also get damaged. Although, some fungi, cause us trouble. There are some others, like yeast, and mushrooms, that are useful to us. Some fungi, are used, in medicines. You must have seen, certain fungi, that live, in the roots, of trees. Such fungi, receive their nutrients, from the tree, in whose roots, they live. In return, the fungi, help the tree, to receive water, and nutrients, from the soil. The relationship between two organisms, where, both are benefited mutually, for their own growth and development, is called symbiotic relationship. An example, of such a relationship, is an organism, called lichen. In lichen, an alga, and, a fungus, live together. Here, alga, is the chlorophyll containing partner, which receives shelter, water, and minerals, from the fungus. In return, the alga, provides food, prepared by photosynthesis, to the fungus.